Hey guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, what it's like to be the church when we have no building and we cannot uh, gather together as a body of believers. And you know, the church never been a building. It's always been uh, about the believers themselves and um, it's always made up the church. And the early church didn't even have a building. And you know, they met together where they could in people's homes and uh, in the temple court and different places. And you know, even though we can't gather together, there's many uh, functions that a church does that we can still participate in. Um, in uh, Psalms uh, 150 verse six says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And that's something we can still do today is uh, worship is one thing. You know, we think of worship a lot of times as a song service and it's so easy when we have such a great band that uh, plays for us to sometimes just participate in listening um, and being entertained, but it's really not about entertainment for a Christian. A Christian is to uh, praise and uh, worship and lift up and love their Savior in the time of worship, and there's uh, various ways, and I have sure appreciated uh, Jennifer and Katie and Chloe all uh, sharing music during this time. Uh, on our Sunday services and also in the uh, little devotions that they've done uh, musically and that's been much appreciative and I hope that you're participating in those. Um, another thing the church does um, and does well is edification. Um, 1 Thessalonians um, chapter 5 and verse 11 says, Therefore comfort each other and edify one another just as you are also doing. You know, it's um, a lot of times we think of uh, when we come together, all the things that we do, Bible study and uh, uh, prayer time and education, hospitality, all, to, all sorts of things, fellowship that we think of as edification. But many of those things can continue, you know, while we're not meeting together. Um, you can still call on folks. Um, there's telephone. There's uh, social media. You can offer to buy groceries for those that can't get out. Um, that would be one way to edify your fellow Christian. Um you can uh, you could participate and do a devotion much like this, and of course don't forget to pray for one another. You know that's something we can always do, uh, whether together or not. And the last thing I just wanted to mention that we still need to be doing as a church um, is evangelizing. And I know uh, sometimes that makes people uncomfortable to think about reaching the loss for the Lord. And and uh, but you know one of the things I just want you to remember is that uh, Jesus didn't pick. Um, he didn't pick the most scholarly. He didn't pick the most um, necessarily intelligent. He picked folks, the fishermen. He picked um, folks that weren't even liked, like the tax collectors, um, to be those that brought the message to all the world. So, you know, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be uh, even good. The gospel message takes care of itself. And so during this time, use those tools we've talked about, social media, um, your telephone, um, any way you can to reach out and still share the message of the gospel and win folks to Christ.